Well, let me see if I can't read the crystal ball. There is food in the future. Mm -hmm. Y'all, this is extra sharp cheddar cheese. And if you've never used Cabot's cheddar cheese, it is the best. C-A-B-O-T. I get it at Walmart. I'm sure you can get it at other places. When we were in Vermont, they have a Cabot store there. And Kirsten and Liz were going to uh, let us stop by because they know how I love Cabot cheese, but it happened to be closed on that particular day. I was so disappointed because they have so many, many flavors. But Cabot cheese, <clears throat> it is really, really good. And this is Pepper Jack. And today, hey Chandler, Chandler and Promise just got here. They're going to spend the day and night with me. So. Hey Chandler. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Hey, I'm Rose from Grandma Rose's Open Pantry. Today I'm going to make shepherd's pie two ways. I'm going to make it for Promise and Chandler with mashed potatoes on top. I'm going to make it for us with uh, cauliflower, mashed cauliflower instead of uh, mashed potatoes. So, honey, if you want to come right here, in this pan I've got about two pounds of ground beef. They're not going to be big casseroles. I'm going to do an 8 by 8 for us and then like an 11 by 7 for them. But I've got my ground beef already thawed and chopped up. And to this, I'm going to add, this is about a cup of onions and about, hmm, probably, uh, I'm just going to put it all, a cup of onions and about a half a cup of uh sweet peppers and this is red and yellow sweet peppers sweet bells so all right now to this i'm going to add one teaspoon of onion powder i'm going to add one teaspoon of garlic powder one teaspoon of himalayan pink salt and about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Now, in my shepherd's pie today, I'm gonna to be doing whole kernel corn. <clears throat> now this is, most of this is out of the can because I just decided to do it this morning and I didn't have the fresh veggies. And in here is a can of veg oil and a few extra uh, little green beans in the bottom. And I've got an extra can of uh, sweet peas right here. And I've got a can of butter beans. So this is just a can of green lima beans. If I had had fresh ones that I cooked, I would have put those in. And usually I do have lots of veggies in my refrigerator, but we've eaten them. Promise and Chandler were here Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So we, we just uh, cleaned out my refrigerator. So, uh, and I have made my own... Instead of cream of mushroom soup, like you put in shepherd's pie, this is like a beef gravy. Uh, I make it with beef stock, uh, onion powder, garlic powder, uh, and cornstarch. And I just put it in the microwave and I just get it thick. Now, if you want mushrooms in yours, put mushrooms in it. But we don't, kids don't like mushrooms. We don't prefer mushrooms. But if you want to make mush, cream of mushroom soup, then you can just uh, put uh, mushrooms in it. But we're just doing the like the, the beef gravy in ours. And so are you going to put are you going to put the recipe for that I am. online? I okay. Am. Now in here is cauliflower. I took a head of cauliflower and I cut it in. Uh, just cut it up. And y'all have seen me use this before. This is a pampered chef. I forget what they call it. I think they call it a stinger. I'm not uh, I'm not sure. But they have three sizes. They have uh, big, medium, and small. And this is a small size. So I just put my cauliflower. It's a microwave st steamer. Microwave. Mm -hmm. I put my cauliflower in my steamer with one tablespoon of water. I put it in the microwave for four minutes. And it makes it just like this. It's just mushy, just where you can mash it up. And when it got done, I put, uh, now when I put it in the microwave, I put uh, a little bit of salt, a little bit of uh, garlic in it. So as you can see, it's where you can just, and I put 
After it got done, I put two ta uh, about a tablespoon of butter. I'm really having to cut back on my butter. I love using butter, but it's so expensive now. So I'm cutting back a little bit on, on the way that I, on how much I use. So in, I'm just gonna take my whisk and I'm going to just, since I, I put the butter in it and I've already got it seasoned, and I'm gonna taste of it. So this is all I'm gonna do to our cauliflower. I'm not going to put uh, cream. I'm not going to put anything like that. I'm just going to make sure it's seasoned well and that it's mashed up really well. And then because if I add cream or something, I, it's, I think it's going to make it a little bit too uh, mushy because cauliflower doesn't have the starch in it that potatoes do. Now, I'll put heavy cream in my potatoes, but okay. Now, this is ready when my ground beef and all gets ready back here. Now, and my counters are full because I've got so much going on. And I uh, peeled and uh, cooked about, this is about three potatoes. And I'm just going to do them the same way with my whisk. Except in this, I am going to put a little bit of heavy cream. Now I'm doing all this ahead of time so it'll be ready when my, when my meat gets ready. That was about two tablespoons of heavy cream. And I'm gonna mix it up real good. Try to get them all mashed up. I wish I had a potato masher. I don't have one. Um, and I've looked for one and can't find one like I want. I want the old fashioned kind. You know, you can buy the round ones that's got the little slots in them. I want the old-fashioned kind that's curved like that. That's the kind I want. That's the kind Mama had, and that's the kind I want, okay? I'm putting a couple more tablespoons of heavy cream in it. You can use heavy cream. You can use milk. You can use half and half. You can use canned milk, whatever you like in yours. You can even put a little sour cream in it if you want to, but... I'm not because I'm making this for the kids. So. This is not low carb because she's using no. potatoes. Right. The uh, cauliflower is low carb. Yes, it is. Low carb load. Okay. Which is 75% of the food that Rose and I eat yeah. is low carb load food. Yes, it is. We leave off potatoes. We leave off wheat. We leave off the five whites, including all the sugary stuff. Uh, okay. For the most part, now once in a while, uh, she'll season something with sugar, but normally she doesn't use it as an ingredient. All right. Uh, I need to get these potatoes out of here. They're kind of stuck in my whisk. I'm going to put a little bit more heavy cream in there so they won't be quite so stiff. I'm going to stir my uh, ground beef back here and my onion. I get my mind on what I'm doing. I got a one-track mind, y'all. I get my mind on what I'm doing and forget what's going on behind me sometimes. Okay? But it's doing good. All right, I'm going to put a little bit more. And like I said, I put about a good tablespoon of um, butter in there. All right. I'm just going to take my whisk and kind of mash it. Because I don't care if there's a few lumps in it. I could get out my electric mixer, but I'm not going to do all that. I'm just doing it with my whisk and my little spatula here. Okay. All right, and I may put a little bit more. This is about a third of a cup of milk all together. It may look like a lot, but I'm only putting a little bit at a time. I think they're dead, Grandma. You can quit beating. <laughs> Gotta get them the right consistency. Okay, so that's spreadable. And I'm gonna taste, I'm gonna just get a little bit. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Except, look good. they need a little bit more salt. Not much, just a little bit. And just a little bit more garlic. You better be careful because I don't have that. 
the strainer thing on it. Okay. I'm stir these up and set them to the side. Put my heavy cream back in the fridge. All right. You come over here, baby. Okay. As you can see, this is this is pretty heavy with onions and peppers, but the children, the kids like them, and we do too, so. And they're very healthy. It's healthy for you, so. Okay. Pretty much got that chopped up like I want it. Now I'll get a spoon. And I'm gonna taste this and make sure I've got enough seasonings in it. But it's gonna have to cook like two or three more minutes to get all the pink out. So, uh, as soon as I get ready to put all this together and this gets, these veggies get done and my ground beef gets done, we'll be back. As you can see, uh, my meat and onions and peppers are ready, and I've drained them. They had some grease on them, so I drained the grease off. Now, to this, I'm going to add my beef gravy that I've got here. There's uh, there's two cups. Let me see. Yeah, there's two cups in here. So I'm going to start off by adding like a cup, and I may add it all. I am. I'm going to put all of it in here because I want it to be real creamy. Okay, I'm going to turn this down. Alright, that was two cups of my beef gravy. Or cream of mushroom if, if that's what you're using. Alright, to this. Now, like I said, this is my green beans, my corn, a few English peas, and a can of uh, mixed vegetables. Okay, I'm going to stir this in. Now I'm going to add, I'm going to drain these butter beans. I usually don't drain my butter beans because I like all the nutrients that's in the juice, but I don't want it to be uh, too soupy, so I'm draining them today. But I usually do not. Okay. So that was some extra corn, some extra green beans, a can of uh, mixed vegetables, and a can of butter beans, and I got some extra green peas here. That's about uh, probably a half a can. Ooh, this looks good. I'm going to taste of it in a minute. This looks delicious. Mm. Look at that. Woo. Smells good. I know. Goodness. I think I'm going to put a little bit more corn since the kids are here. If it was just me and Roy, I would not add that extra corn. But since they're here, I am. All right. Now, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to taste of it. And see if my seasonings are right. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's good, y'all. Mmm, that is delicious. Oop! Put salt on the floor. All right, that's another half a teaspoon of salt. About half a teaspoon of pepper. I'm going to put a little bit more garlic. Now, a half a teaspoon of garlic. Now, I'll have all this in the description box, exactly how much I put. But do it to I'm your sure. taste. Yeah. I mean, Rose's yeah. taste is a little different than yours. So. To your taste, yes. Yeah. Season it till you like it, like you like you like it. And the reason I like using my own cream of chicken soup that I homemade or my beef gravy 
I can control the sodium that's in it. Because there's a lot of sodium in, uh, in some of your cream soups. So, all right. Now that's ready. Now we're fixing to start putting it together. Let me put my cheeses there. I'll just do one at a time. Okay, I'll do ours first with the cauliflower. Okay, and if I have too much mixture left, I'll just put it in the freezer. And when I don't have anything for me and Roy to eat, I'll take it out, thaw it out, put a little uh, cauliflower topping on it, and we'll be good to go. Okay, so you just put your mixture in the bottom of your pan. Now this is an eight by eight casserole dish here. This is the one I'm gonna do with the cauliflower topping on it. Okay. Mmm, this is so good, y'all. Delicious. I am gonna have some mixture left. But that's okay. It'll be an easy meal later. All right. Now, right here is where I'm going to, now this is ours. This is pepper jack cheese. Kids, do y'all like pepper jack cheese? They're out of range. They're in the, what? I don't know. Okay. It's not real hot. It's not real spicy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Taste of it and see if you like it. If you do, I'll put some on y'all's. It's like, it's like Monterey Jack cheese with jalapenos in it. You like it? Is it too spicy for you? Tastes good, it's fine. I don't think it will be mixed with everything else. Okay. Okay. All right. <coughs> now, that's pepper jack cheese and uh, sharp, extra sharp cheddar, ever how much you want, that's up to you. Now, I'm going to stir this up while I put the extra pepper in it and salt. Now, I'm just going to put, put my cauliflower on top of it like this. And I forgot to melt some butter. I'm gonna melt some butter and spread on top of the cauliflower. Okay, I could have done a little bit more cauliflower, but I'll make it work. All right. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this and I'm gonna melt some butter and put on top of it in just a second. All right, that's the one with the cauliflower. Now I'm gonna do one with the mashed potatoes. Put that right there. I'm gonna make this easier. I'll just pour it in there. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna have much left. Cause I got, these kids are hearty eaters. Especially if it's healthy. I'm just going to put all this. All right. We got a lot of cleanup to do. <laughs> now, all right, I'm going to put extra sharp cheddar on top of that. And the amount of cheese you put is up to you. And like I told you the other day, with extra sharp, sharp cheddar, you don't have to use as much as you would if it was mild. And I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper jack, not much, okay? Put that to the side. All right, now, I'm gonna take my mashed potatoes. Now, some people use instant potatoes for this, but I like to mash my own. And there are some good instant mashed potatoes out there, but 
I've never used them. I just don't. But if you do, then that's fine. Just use your instant mashed potatoes. Okay. This is going to be a good lunch. And you all can also can just split the two toppings on one. Yes, you can. One casserole. You can put half cauliflower, half mashed potatoes. Yes. That way you're you're able to cook for your whole family. Those right, who in one dish. don't need to watch the carbs. I was going to do that. I do it in like a nine by thirteen, a mm -hmm. bigger one. And uh, and that it would be easy to do like that. Okay. Now. All right, and this has got little bitty chunks of potatoes in it, which is gonna be really good. But if I had wanted it really smooth, I would have got my mixer out and, and mixed it. All right, now, what I need to do is melt a little bit of it in the microwave. So if y'all would give me two or three minutes or 30 seconds or something, then I'll show you how I'm going to top this off with some melted butter. Okay. I have melted my butter and I'm putting it on my, I put it on my cauliflower. I'm just smearing it all over these mashed potatoes. Now in my mashed potatoes and in my cauliflower, I put about a tablespoon of butter when I was mashing them and I put about two teaspoons, maybe a tablespoon in my cauliflower when I was mashing it up. So, and I have seen people put the cheese on top, but I've always made it with the cheese between the, the uh, vegetable mixture, the meat and the mashed potatoes. So you can do it ever which way you want. To me, this just makes a prettier, a prettier dish like this. Because your cauliflower and your uh, mashed potatoes are gonna get a little brown on top and it just makes it really pretty. Now my oven is set for 350. Everything is done. So I'm just going to let it stay in there until it gets hot and bubbly and a little brown on top which is probably going to be 30 minutes. So in about 30 minutes, I'm going to come back and we're going to have a delicious, delicious meal. So see you in a little bit. Are we ready, Granddaddy? All right, we have our taste panel ready for our <laughs> casseroles, okay? Chandler, you're and we have right promise. Now. And this is a treat, I'm telling y'all, for them to get on here and taste of this for me. Now it is so hot, but I want y'all to look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at all that cheese. Oh, all right, Chandler. Wait, how about Promise go first so it cools off? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give it to y'all at the same time. Burn Promise first. Yeah. Same time, it's oh, real that. hot. Now y'all blow it, blow it. Okay, Chandler, blow it, blow it. Really, really hot. Now this is the one with the mashed potatoes. Oh, my chin. <laughs> and I'm gonna do the one with the cauliflower. Ooh. Are you tasting it? Mm -hmm. All right, promise. How does it taste? It's good. Is it good? Real good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Chandler? That is good. It's good? Okay, y'all. Did I get a thumbs up? Thumbs up. Okay. Well, y'all got it from the experts because you know if children like it, it's going to be good. We'll give them a taste of the other one. All right. Okay, come taste it. Taste of this one right here with the cauliflower, I promise. Just a little, right there. Just get a little, yeah. Okay, now that's real hot. All right, Chandler, I want you to taste of the one with the cauliflower. Just get a little bit right there. Now that's hot, baby. I'm same everything taste. except it's got cauliflower. Yeah, the top, everything Instead is of potatoes. the same. It's just the top. It's almost as good. Almost as good. Did y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. I think that one better, but that one's really good. Okay, well. They like the potato better, but the other one is really good. the cauliflower is good. Now I'm okay, good. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. No. That is so good. The cauliflower is so good on it. But if your children want to eat cauliflower, do mashed potatoes. It's hot. Yeah, it is hot, baby. But, uh... If they do like 
cauliflower, then I would do the whole thing like that. Thank you. Thank y'all for doing that for me today. And thank y'all for joining me on, in my two ways of doing shepherd's pie. So uh, subscribe to my channel. Hit that little notification bell. Remember, food feeds the family. Family feeds the heart. Like these two right here. Mm -hmm. They feed grandma's heart. <laughs> and God feeds the soul. Thank y'all. Please share this video and subscribe and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know where you're watching from. I love y'all and see you next time. Chandler, have you cleaned yours up over there, boy? He has. Oh, my God. I think he has. <laughs> hey, they were hungry. They came through the back door earlier. Grandma, we're hungry. We hadn't had breakfast. What's to eat? I said, give me about 30 or 45 minutes. She said, give me five minutes and then 20 minutes later. <laughs> Just 30 more minutes. But they are really hungry, so we're fixing to eat. Love y'all.